it's come to my attention that a lot of people are having issues with the PKG files in the Shad PS4 emulator. So I'm going to show you how to download a fork for Shad PS4. This is the exact same as Shad PS4. Like I said, it just retains your PKG support files. This works for Windows and Linux as well. The first thing I want you to do is go to the official GitHub page located right here. Since we'll be downloading it for Windows, we'll simply click on the Windows emblem. Once we do that, we should get the indication that the Shad PS4 Plus has been downloaded to our device. We're going to need 7-Zip or any extraction tool that you may use so we can unzip our Shad PS4 Plus. Once you unzip it and open it, you should see just this right here. You're then going to open up your existing Shad PS4 that you have. Once you open up that particular folder, you're simply going to erase the old Shad PS4 that you have within your old emulator and you're going to substitute it with the Shad PS4 Plus, like so. Now when you double click it and open up, you should get the indication that it's updated. You can either update it or choose not to. If you go to the top now at file, you will now see install packages PKG. And now you can simply select that and install your games like the old Shad PS4 would allow. If you need help setting up your Shad PS4 emulator, you can go to the video right here. The link will be in the description and I'll take you on a step-by-step -step method on how to get Bloodborne and set up your Shad PS4. This is just an update to that particular video because after you install the update on that particular emulator, the install package PKG leaves. So this is an update to that particular video. If this video helped you in any way, shape or form, go ahead and hit that like and don't forget to hit that sub. Thank you.